Okay, so this is question number 13 on page 456, uh, electric potential. So what we have in this situation, here, let me change colors so I can annotate here. Uh, we have a charge here, Q1, and we have another charge here, Q2, and we have a charge in the middle this is small q. And the values are here. Okay, so here is uh, q1, uh, q2. q1 and q2 are the same. They're both positive 30 microcoulombs. And the small charge in the middle is positive 0.2 microcoulombs. Okay? And we're going to move the small charge in the middle of these two guys. And by the way, the distance between these two guys is. 0.6. So we're moving the charge from point, the small charge from point A to point B. Okay? And what we want to figure out is the question here how much work would be required to move Q, small q, from A to B? Question mark. So in order to do this, this is an easy problem. We just have to figure out what that you have to use this equation. Work equals the change in voltage times Q. And of course the difficult part here is trying to figure out what delta V is. So we're going to have VB minus VA because it's always final minus initial. So B is the final position, A is the initial position, so we have to subtract them to get delta V, the change in voltage. Now what is the voltage at A and B? What we have to do here is we have to calculate. So let me kind of move this down a little bit. Let's do B first. So B is going to be, so the voltage at that point is going to be due to Q1 and Q2. So due to Q1, it's going to be KQ over R, KQ1 that is, over R1B. That means we're going to go, uh, we're, we're calculating it at this point, the voltage at this point. So first due to this charge, and then due to that charge. That means we need these two distances. So here is R1B, and then uh, here is R2B, okay? The distance from Q2 to B, the distance from Q1 to B. Now if we know that, the question says, when we move from A to B, the distance is 0.1 uh, meters, or 10 centimeters, right? 10 centimeters is equal to 0.1 meters. That means that if A is exactly in the middle, so the distance from both charges to A is half of 0.6, which obviously is 0.3, and then when you move it closer, to, it doesn't matter which one you move closer to because it's symmetric. So, I mean, in this example, I'm moving it to the right, but we could have easily moved it to the left. It would be the same. So when we move it 0.1 over, then obviously R2B is going to be 0.3 minus 0.1. So therefore, you know that this distance is going to be 0.2, right? And you know that the Right, so now, okay, so you know <coughs> this is 0.2, and R1B, by the way, is going to be uh, 0.3 plus 0.1, which is going to equal 0.4. And so that's what I have here. If you look, R1B is uh, 0.4 there, and R2B is 0.2 there. And so now, here's the interesting thing. I mean, if the Qs were different, of course, I would just have to calculate this separate. I'd have to do the calculation separately. And no, that would be no problem. It's just I would do it with my calculator. However, there is one extra simplification. Look at this. Because the two Qs are the same, Q1 is equal to two Q2, right? They're both positive 30. I can essentially say that Q1 is equal to Q2, which is just equal to Q. 
So now, since they're both the same, I can factor it out. See, it's in this term and it's in this term. So I factor it out, and what I'm left with inside the brackets is 1 over 0.4 plus 1 over 0.2. And now I can stick in the value of positive 30 for Q and multiply by 10 to the power of 9, and I get this voltage for, v, for the voltage at B, or the electric potential at point B. Now, I'm, I'm only kind of half done because I have to calculate the voltage at point A. That's in the middle here, right? Well, the nice thing about that one is it's actually equidistant from both charges. So in the middle, you're point 0.3 from this side, right? And you're point 0.3 from the other side. So, look what the equation turns out. Again, the charges are the same. So I factor out the KQ. And now it's 1 over 0.3 and 1 over 0.3. And I multiply, again, substituting this value in for Q, right? Three, 30 times 10 to the power of negative 6. And I get 1.8 times 10 to the power of 6 volts. Now all I need to do is calculate delta V. So I need to subtract these two values. And I do that. This was, this was here, right? And 1.8 was this one. I subtract them, and this is my delta V. Now I can plug these, this value into my original equation, 2.2 10 to the power of 5, and I multiply by the small q, right? And that small q was given in the problem. It was 0.2 microcoulombs. So I plug that in, and I multiply it, and I get the answer of 0 0.045 joules, which is the correct answer in the solutions. So that was the solution to number 13 on page 456.